If you're watching this video on the Ness YouTube channel, there's more information and useful links in the description below. Welcome everybody to Leadership at All Levels. Okay, so we're going to be talking today about leadership at all levels. Um, this is me, I'm Nick Fru, I'm a business partner in the Organisational Development Leadership and Learning team here in NIST. Okay, we're going to get straight into things and I'm going to give you a wee quiz to wake you up. So we've got four people on the slide, as quick as you like, in the chat, who are they? Nelson and Greta have been identified very quickly, Nick. Good, okay. Have we got the others? Steve Muirhead. Okay, excellent. Greta. I think we've got variations of, of <laughs> variations of Malala's name, I think. Have you got everybody? I think that's everyone, isn't it? That's everyone. That's everyone. Okay, excellent. Okay. For those of you who missed the answers or wanted to go in A, here they are. Now, you might be wondering, um, why have I got these people on a slide? What are they here for? Um, the reason I put these, these folks up here is because when we talk about or we think about leaders and we think about leadership, we tend to think about people like this. So we tend to think about people who have done amazing things, they have a high profile, um, you know, and the problem with that is that well, if we want people to, more people to be leaders, then do we expect them? Do we say, well, you can't be a leader unless you're Nelson Mandela or you're somebody like Malala or Yves Muhead or Greta? You know, you need, to, you need to display those qualities to be a leader. And so lead, this, is about, this session is about leadership at all levels. So let's, we're going to talk about that a bit more. I want to show you something, um, a statement, and I want you to have a look at it, please. Just have a read of this. Now, this is something that, so you'll see at the bottom, it says the King's Fund. So the King's Fund are, uh, I think, tanks. They're a bunch of brainy people who are paid to think about stuff. And when they thought about leadership for the NHS and they did lots of research, um, this is what they came up with. Um, and I think this is really interesting because it's saying, actually, we want people to think of themselves as leaders, not because they are personally exceptional, senior, inspirational. So they're not because they're like Nelson Mandela or Eve Muhead or whoever, but because they can see what needs doing and can work with others to do it. Um, so what I want to do, part of this session is to, is to make, getting you to think about that. Can you see what needs doing? Can you work with others to do it? Do you see yourself as a leader? Okay, so I'm going to ask you that question towards the end. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the qualities of an everyday leader um, a little bit more. So I'd like you to take, uh, get a pen and paper, and I'd like you to write down what do you think are the qualities of an everyday leader? Um, so I don't know, are they helpful, are they kind, are they that kind of thing? So pen and paper, scribble down, what do you think are the qualities of an everyday leader? Let's say you come up with, I don't know, three or four things. And while you're doing that, I'm going to put um, a poll in the chat. and we're going to find out what you think. Okay, so interesting, approachable is coming up as a strong one. And I'd like you to scribble down clear and calm, I think. Uh, what else have we got? They're all quite even, actually, some of the others. Team player. And let's pick one more. Uh, what have we got? Let's say good listener. So what have we got? Approachable, team player, good listener, and clear and calm. Okay, so you've got four those four qualities down um, on your piece of paper. Oh, there's open. Let's have open to change as well, actually. So give yourself. So that's five things. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to think about yourself. Okay, so think about yourself and think about the word approachable. Are you an approachable person? I'd like you to score yourself out of five. Okay, so if you think you're really, really approachable, give yourself a score of five. And if you're not, then you can bring the score down. 
And I'd like you to do that for the others as well. Okay, so score yourself from one to five. Are you very approachable or less so? Are you very clear and calm, less so, and so on? Okay, right, I'd like you to park um, the scoring that you've done in your piece of paper. And what I would like you to do is to, let's come back to the words that we've got um, in the word cloud. Um, so let's think, talk about approachable. So what I'd like to know from you is, why does that matter? So approachable has, has clearly, it's jumped up, it's got lots of responses, it's right in the middle, it's the biggest of the words. Why does it matter? Why is that important? So I'd like you to put something in, in the chat. Tell us what you think. Okay, Liz, yes, I like that. People need to know they trust you. I think that's really that's so important. People can come and ask you for help. Yeah, somebody said, you know, if, they, if you know there's something, people can approach you and say something's not right or they can give you feedback. Excellent. Yeah, I like that. Okay, right. Let's talk about some of the others. Why does, why does clear and calm matter, would you say? Yes, Glenda, absolutely. Good point. You don't want to feel dismissed about anything. Yes, I like that, Amanda. A frantic leader is not listening. Yes. A frantic leader is basically not, not leading, I don't think. But uh, anyway, yes, be rational. Same above. Let's talk about anything. You can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, is a quote I rather like. OK, right. Let's ask. And I'll ask you about one more thing. So we had open to change. Why does that matter? Yes, de-escalate things. Don't make it worse. All right. Thank you. Lots of really nice stuff in, in the chat. Absolutely. Really good things there. Yes, the world is always changing, unfortunately. Sometimes you think, actually, it'd be quite nice it didn't for a while. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we have to live with change. Unfortunately, we're not, we're not very good at change um, as people, but we do. But change happens a lot. OK. Yes. Absolutely, flex and adapt. OK, thank you. Right now, so let's think about that. Um, we've talked about what you think they are, why you think they're important. We've talked about um, the extent to which you demonstrate them. And I think, and I wanted to come back to a comment that was made earlier about um, somebody said, I try to do this. And I think that's so important because if we try to do it, you're not going to get it right all the time, but this is your aspiration. This is what you'd like to do. Um, and you try to do it. And I think that's what matters. Whether you get it right, whether you get it wrong, in a way, you're trying to do it, you want to do it, and that's so important. And people will see that. People will recognize that um, and see what's, be what's behind that. So I suppose so my question to you now, and we're going to put a poll in the chat in a, in a moment and ask you this, but if you are, if you think these qualities are important and you've scored yourself and hopefully this is, these are the things you are trying to do, then does that mean that you're an everyday leader? So we're going to put a poll in the chat and see what you think. What is your response going to be? So shortly that will be in there. So we've got three responses. So I, do you see what needs doing and work with others to do it? Do you remember that? That quote that came from the King's Fund, are you an everyday leader? So do you try to be? Uh, do you do it sometimes? We know it can be hard. Or do you just go, you know what, uh, keep my head down. Oh, I've got 75% say yes, Nick. Mm, excellent. And 25 say sometimes, but not one single person says they keep their head down. OK, don't worry, if you do keep your head down, I'm not going to I'm not going to ask you why. So you can can be if you want to be honest and you do that, then don't worry. Um, just just put your answer in there. No one's going to no one's going to pick up on you. For it. So the folks who said, yes, I try to. What is it? Um, what does it what is it that helps you? So what do you find that helps you to do that? Chuck something in the chat. I mean, it could be could be pals, could be people around you, could be, I don't know, could be a manager, could be, what, what is it? What is it that helps you to do that? 
okay, I like that, Margaret, treating people as you want to be treated. You know, I see, I like that. How you, you upskilled yourself, you've taken that initiative. Okay, great team. Support from the team, lots of stuff about that. I like that, being a do person. Yes. There's lots of nice comments there. Okay, now, for the folks who said they, you try, you, you, you kind of do it sometimes, but it can be hard. What is it do you think that gets in the way? What is it that makes it hard? Catherine, does, does that help, being a little nuts? Okay, it probably does actually. Okay, excellent. Right, thank you. I really like those. Lots of nice comments there. Okay, now, for the folks who said they, you try, you, you, you kind of do it sometimes, but it can be hard. What is it do you think that gets in the way? What is it that makes it hard? Time, yeah, uh-huh. Politics, yes. Confidence is something we've come across a lot, actually, this week. Okay, I think it's interesting. So not enough experience, lack of confidence is coming up. Fear of resistance, yeah. Mm-hmm. Aaron, you just said, yeah, people. Okay. People get in the way. Um, one of the things that, and, we, and when we've done this session, we've been, we've been talking about this and we've been showing people that message that came that we had earlier about um, leadership for the NHS and what it needs. Uh, and one of the things that I think often comes up is, you know, how confident do I feel? Do I want to do this? What about others around me? And things like that. So what we want to do is say how important it is and how leadership at all levels uh, and, and helping people to say, actually, can you see what needs to be doing and work with others to do it? Can you do that? You are a leader. And it's helping people to understand, yes, they are a leader. Yes, they can be a leader. Um, and actually how important that is. But I appreciate that there are things that get in the way um, and that the others, other people, whatever it happens to be, confidence, lack of lack of skills, lack of opportunity. I um, appreciate all of that that gets in the way. Um, but what we would urge you to do is to say, Please try. Remember, this is in the message that I that I brought up earlier is actually the message to the whole of the service. So the whole of the NHS in Scotland, the whole of health and social care. This is the message to everybody. This is what we need. So please remember that, and please see if you if you if that helps you. If you say actually the service is telling me this is what we need, therefore I'm going to do my best to try and do it. I want to bring up now. Do you remember this? I don't know if you, if how many of you um, came, went to John Loughton's session um, on Wednesday or on Monday. Um, but he had a brilliant slide and a brilliant quote here, and I like this. Have a, just, just remind yourself of this quote. So, authentic value, self-awareness, and ability, and, and and an ability to take action. Um, I think we all have that. I think we are all, we all have our own values. We have authentic values. We are, I think we try and be self-aware as much as we can. And I think we would like to take action. So I think the message from today is remember that. Remember how powerful that is. Um, and please go and be an everyday leader. <laughs>